day nine, and already the scientists have found 10 species that are completely new to them. They kept busy day and night. Musée and Gordon have found a creature in one of their traps. It's a striped possum. Striped possum. They're famously feisty creatures that are more than a match for bigger folk. Oh, wow, he's a beauty. They're marsupials, raising their babies in a pouch, and for defence, can let out very strong smells. He's black and white like a skunk, and he actually smells like a skunk, a very strong, musty odour. If you just see that finger, it's just quite extraordinary. There are few animals in the world that have that kind of adaptation. The long finger is for winkling grubs out of holes. We'll weigh them, measure them, and then take them back to exactly where we found them. Let's measure the tail first. OK, yes. 330. For the base, uh -huh. yeah, right here, to the, left, to the tip, yes. With the vital statistics taken, okay. it's time to release him. Right. This is a tricky part. You can see how sharp his, his teeth are. You really want to avoid getting bitten. Ow! Oh! That's a bit of a nip. OK, can I nick that other glove just in case? This glove is made from the same material that bulletproof vests and stab jackets are made from. And he's actually causing quite a bit of pain, so I'm going to take him out and release him. OK. And I reckon as soon as his feet touch, he's going to be off. OK, pal, there you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's good. There's much happening there. Seven hundred miles to the east, Steve and the team are abseiling down to the mouth of the cave. We've seen the cave from the air, but to stand here and for the first time really be able to hear the sound of it raging beneath us is, is something else. It's an 80-metre drop to the entrance. Oh, wow! usual view hanging above a waterfall and below it there's just this majestic drop down to the pool beneath not liking where these ropes are bringing me down though it's gonna be right in the waterfall whoa just hope I can find somewhere to get my footing on here oh, oh. Just do not want to slip now. Out there, everything's green and magical. In there, it's all, frankly, a little bit frightening. In the lab, George has been distracted from his job of writing the report. Somebody brought me back these in a, in a little bag. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, wow, look! Longhorn beetles. And they're mating. Oh, my God. That's the male and the female. Alana, have you seen these? <laughs> I found them for you, George. You, you <laughs> found them? Oh, thank you very much. They are absolutely gorgeous. Actually, I should be slightly anxious about this because they have got very, very sharp jaws. And if, that, if it happens to sink it into my earlobe, you will hear... Ooh, the squeaking. Ooh, the squeaking. This being the land of squeaking beetles. The cavers are pushing their way up the Whitewater River. The current is strong. We can't afford to put a foot wrong. Oh, this is unbelievable! They're now half a mile into the cave and face a huge obstacle. The waterfall swollen by heavy rains. It's 
is the largest waterfall that we know of in the whole of the Bagani Cave River system. The entire volume of the river is flowing over this waterfall, and it's a real crux point of the cave. If you can't get beyond this, then you really have been stymied. You know, you can't get any further. 